He said to pray that the Lord would send forth labors, that God would start speaking to somebody. Amen. Amen. I wonder if you are the somebody. Amen. See, when you pray, say, now, Lord, I'm asking you to raise up labors. Speak to me and, and let me know who I can see. I got a bait that somebody wants. No, I got a bait that somebody will bite on. Amen. I, I want you to understand the bait might be different, but the hook is the same. So no matter how much bait or different types of bait we use, the hook of the gospel is the same. Come on. Now, now, now understand this. Don't pray that the Lord will save you. Now, I need you to hear me. You may have missed what I just said. Don't pray that the Lord will save you. Because the Lord don't save people. Now you're gonna have to hear me well before you start jumping to conclusions. Hear me very well. That's not what Jesus said. He said, pray ye therefore the Lord of the harvest that he would send forth laborers, that he would speak to somebody. So it is not, the Lord is not coming down from heaven to win somebody. You are the soul winners now. Come on, say amen to that. You are the light of the world now. See, so he said, he said this, don't pray that God will save them because God ain't saving people. Now listen closely to me. The reason why I say that is because God is completely and thoroughly satisfied in what Jesus did on the cross. Therefore, he is not going to send Jesus back down here. He is not going back to the cross. He does not have to do this again. Jesus said while he was on the cross, it is finished. Come on, say amen to that. Somebody shout, it's finished. 